This video is brought to you by Clean My Mac X, the all-in-one package to clean your Mac and make it run like it did on day one. What's happening, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple, the beast. The Mac Pro is finally available from Apple to purchase online, and there's a whole lot of buzz and a whole lot of opinions around Apple's flagship desktop. So this is everything to know about the Mac Pro before you buy it, or just some of the things to know because this thing is gonna cost you for that power. Now MKBHD, Jonathan Morrison, and I Justine were able to get their hands on it for the past few weeks for first impressions, and you should definitely check out all of their videos. They were each outfitted with a Mac Pro with the 28 core Intel Xeon W processors, 384 gigs of RAM, a four terabyte SSD hard drive, the afterburner card for even better video performance, and two AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2 GPUs from Apple. So if you were going to get one of those for yourself, you're looking at $33,199 for that tower, and that's before we add the display, and we haven't even talked about putting the wheels on yet. Now, MKBHD's takeaways were how quiet it is and how fast it is. When running his own rendering test, the Mac Pro crunched out a video in four minutes. That same video took the new 16-inch MacBook Pro 20 minutes and the iMac Pro 12 minutes. So that's some real power, and you know what? It better be that fast for $33,000. Now, Jonathan Morrison loved the XDR display. He called its nano texture option a game changer and said it has to be seen in person to really appreciate it. That XDR display, we know it starts at $4,999. It's an extra thousand for the nano texture glass. And then we all know about the additional $999 for that stand. But he also kept it real and said the Mac Pro is far beyond what most of us need. So really, what is the number one thing that everyone is talking about when it comes to the Mac Pro? Pro is obviously the price. I mean, the headline story that you're going to see blanketed everywhere is that a maxed out Mac Pro will cost over $52,000 without a display. Well, $52,199 to be exact. And no surprise, this isn't for everyone. But it gets even better because when I was configuring one, there was an option for feet or wheels. Now, if you want the add on for wheels, it will cost you an additional $400. People, the wheels on a Mac Pro cost $400. So let me correct myself. The top of the line fully maxed out Mac Pro with wheels will cost $52,599. For reals? For those wheels? That's a bad apple. Oh, hell no. <laughs> and I mean, should we even be surprised if the display stand costs $1,000? Unless the wheels have spinning rims, then you know what? I'm totally okay with that. Now, I confirm with Apple directly that if you choose the wheels, they will completely replace the feet and come installed with them. So you won't be able to swap them out for the feet at a later time. Once you go wheels, you're rolling with that deep. And on top of that, delivery times go up by more than a month for that add-on option. Other built toward options that will be available later currently, you can only put a four terabyte SSD hard drive in the Mac Pro, while the 16 inch MacBook Pro has an option for an eight terabyte hard drive. Eight terabytes for the Mac Pro is coming soon, according to Apple, also coming soon. An additional graphics option for the Radeon Pro W5700X with 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory, or two of them as this kind of more middle tier option for graphics on this already beast of a machine. So that's coming as well. So you might not want to rush into ordering one immediately. Now delivery times are between December 19th to the 27th right now on all configurations, unless you get the wheels. Then it jumps up to January 28th to February 3rd. So for the first time in the history of mankind, wheels are slower than feet. There's also accessories you can get for the new Mac Pro. You can purchase some of the video card and memory upgrades separately and then make those upgrades at a later time. But there's another surprise here. Logitech has a 4K Pro magnetic webcam designed specifically for the Apple Pro XDR display. It connects to the top and records in 4K Ultra HD clarity with advanced HDR technology to automatically adjust for poor lighting and direct sunlight. The 4K webcam costs $199.95 or half the price of four Mac Pro wheels. Okay, all jokes aside, I mean, man, I didn't even put a cheese grater one in here yet, but I'm honestly happy the Mac Pro exists and that Apple can now unequivocally say that we made a Mac for the Pro's Pro. I mean, this isn't even a computer that's in my price range right now, but you know that I would love to have it. The reality is that most people that are hating on it 
can't even afford it. Wait, that's me. Now it starts at $5,999. It has more power than probably 98% of users ever need right now, but that's why I love it, right? After all these years of that trash can trash pro, Apple came back strong, and this is exactly the type of machine that pros wanted. And also in some perfect timing, the Apple Card is offering 6% daily cash back on Apple product purchases until December 31st. So that would save someone who wants to get the $52,000 Mac Pro a little over $3,000. Yeah, totally worth it. Now, I got to love some of your comments on Twitter that you responded to my post. At JSML said, everyone knows you need good wheels for a computer to be fast. Tevin Ward says, that's a brand new Apple? Y'all tripping. And Juliaf's 3 says, my tripophobia is crying. You know what? Um, Juliaf's 3, I'm crying too, but for different reasons. So let me know what y'all think about the Mac Pro, whether you can afford it or not. Hey, put it in the comments. I want to see what's on your brain, and I'll read like almost all of them. All right, thanks again to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring this video. It's the all-in-one package to clean up your Mac. I've been using it for years from way back in the day with one button. You can clean up and fine-tune your Mac in a click to delete years worth of system junk, find hidden apps and folders, neutralize malware, and keep your Mac free from viruses, adware, or spyware. Plus, speed up your Mac and make it more responsive. Who doesn't want that? Clean My Mac X is notarized by Apple, and that assures that its code is free from malicious elements. Clean My Mac is also the latest malware remover tool, so it locates hidden background apps on your Mac. Using this tool, you can then disable your launch agents. And those are those things that disguise themselves as fake flash players or updaters. There's a free demo for you to try out and all its tools. So all you have to do is click on the link in my description to download it. And if you decide to keep it, an annual subscription is $40. So that's less than $4 a month. Clean My Mac X helps keep your Mac safe, protected, and running like new for the long run. All right, if you like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Ding! To get all my videos when they drop. You can also check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast where we just go for a deep dive into all the latest stories each week with special guests as well. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace!